Hey everyone, Big Tim Kiwi back again with another Forza Horizon 5 forza -thon for the first um, forza -thon of a December. So we've only got four more left until the end of the year. Um, so this week we need to own and drive the 1986 Ford F-150 XLT Lariat or the 2017 Ford F-150 Raptor. Uh, let's see. We need to then win a dirt race on either car. We need to earn three stars at Danger Signs in either vehicle, and then earn two ultimate record skills. My dailies is complete a road race in the 1937 Chevrolet Air and earn one star at Trailblazers in any Polaris vehicle. One event lab this time, it's not that great of an event lab either. A standard PR event, speed trap, speed zone, and a Trailblazer. We have a Horizon Tour Championship this week. <laughs> Um, the treasure hunt is nice and easy, just get an Exocet um, branded car from the Exomotive brand um, and go climb to the top of the um, the volcano, the caldera. And you have to go up the wall of it, type of thing, up to the tallest point of the volcano. Before that will pop for you, that's nice and easy, that photo challenge, that's self-explanatory and yeah, let's check out the Forzathon shop. And as always, grab anything you don't already have, especially the Hoonigan. And this week we've got the Rajon Q1 and the Continental Super, uh, con I don't know, Continental Super Sport, perhaps, um, from 1962. Uh, not new to Forza, new to this game. The Continental may be new to Forza. I don't think it is, though, but that Rajon is definitely in from our previous game. All right, 2017 Raptor. Welcome back, Brayden. Sorry, just chicken something. All right, let's do this.
I was trying to turn before that, but I got airborne. Trailblazer. And design. Do an easy one. Pretty sure I needed ultimate wreckage. And that's a weekly done. That's gonna be that. <laughs> um, I'll open up. Wheel spins. I'm gonna put that on the auction house. That one, I I gotta. That's worth a lot of money. I normally would just gift it, but. Uh, whenever I send stuff as gifts to people, I never get thanked for it. And it's not hard to do that. Just send them a thank you. Easy. Oh, and some exciting news. Um, my real life, pers personal life, is I bought a BRZ. A, a Sabari BRZ. So, yeah. She's glorious. And the typical Subaru WR Blue Pearl that they just look so amazing in. And I, just, I might, I might do a YouTube video on it because I definitely want to do stuff to her. But I just need to decide what. So I need to decide wheels. I don't know if I want to be a typical Subi gang sort of thing and like nice bronze or gold wheels to go off the blue, like the. WRX STIs, but it would look nice. Definitely wider. I want the nice wide, thick wheels. Nice sticky rubber. I definitely want to get one of the Pandem Rocket Bunny um, V3 or V3.5 body kits for her. I'm just a bit worried that if I did that, 
because you actually have to cut into the car and cut off panels um, to fit it, which is really, I'm not sure how I feel about that. When it's done right, the after, the, um, the, the finished product looks amazing, but I don't know if I ever regret it and decide I want to go something more subtle, I can't kind of thing. Um, I really wish that Pandem or Rocket Bunny when designing it would just made them as bolt-ons, but I suppose the point of it is so you can lower it, widen it, um, well, uh, put, have more space between the, um, the wheels, but, yeah, I don't know if I want to keep it naturally aspirated, or go turbocharger or supercharger, I know there's supercharger kits for it, and they work really well for it, but, turbochargers are just more fuel efficient because I want to I definitely want to still have it as a daily a daily vehicle that I can just drive to work and back in um, or just go for a drive every now and again but then with also the body kit I'm worried that because that rocket bunny kit has the canids front and rear some there's so many assholes around they're just gonna see it get jealous or think oh this guy's got plenty of money they can just get a new one and then they'll just like stomp it, breaking it, with, uh, or put pressure on it with their feet to see how sturdy it is, and then it snaps. It's because people are pricks. Um, but yeah, I, I guess it's just way, uh, I would really like that body kit. But I guess it's just weighing up the pros and cons, really. And power-wise, definitely a full exhaust system from the headers all the way to the tip. Uh, heavy duty clutch, light and flywheel for responsiveness because the, well, the to get to the gearbox you have to take the exhaust off anyway so I might as well do both uh, the air filter on it is really good already it's been well designed by Subaru um, so changing it to a pod filter um, doesn't change anything it doesn't ga give you any gains in terms of horsepower in fact in some cases you get less it restricts it more, um, so you're better off just keeping as is, but going for a nice high, um, a nice breathable, better high quality filter to go into the actual um, air filter system that's already there. Uh, apart from that, I don't know if I want to, like, I'd probably turbocharge it if I was going to do anything to it, because more fuel efficient with a turbocharger, but uh, they're more complex systems than a supercharger, so more um, more can go wrong. If anyone has any um, suggestions, then that would be well welcomed and awesome. So I had to buy another one in the game just so I could fiddle it around with the, with the wheels to see what I like and what I don't like <laughs> uh, but yeah um, that's going to wrap up this week's Forzathon, I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful, if you did you know what to do Hit that follow button, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll also be exporting this to my YouTube channel, so if you're interested in checking that out, follow the link underneath the live stream panel as well as in the past stream description. I also upload clips and stuff to there when I do clips, so that's one of the good things about that. Um, there it is. That's where the treasure is. Um, and if you're on my YouTube channel, want to follow my Twitch or do my live stuff, follow the link in the live stream banner. Whoops, no, follow the link in the channel banner, <laughs> um, as well as in the description of the past streams. And drop a comment on stuff you guys would like to see me do next, or things you think I could do better with, or just to pop in and say hey, or to give me any maybe suggestions of maybe some stuff I could do to the car, um, to the Subaru BRZ that I got, it's manual as well. Um, but yeah, any any suggestions will be welcome. Gives me something to think about. Um, and yeah, I hope you're having a great day, a great night, wherever in the world you are. Peace out, everyone. Have a good one. <laughs>